Hey everybody, it's May 16th, 2018, and this is News Break, and I'm Alex Bennett. Let's look at the news. President Trump's planned summit meeting with Kim Jong-un of North Korea is in doubt after Pyongyang threatened today to withdraw if Washington insisted on a unilateral uh, nuclear abandonment. Rejecting the Trump administration's demand, now get this, North Korea singled out John Bolton, who on Sunday went around all these talk shows saying he wanted a Libya-type uh, agreement with North Korea. Uh, that's his new national security advisor, by the way, in case you don't know. Saying in the statement, and this is North Korea's statement about John Bolton, we do not hide our feelings of repugnance towards him. It's probably because North Koreans don't like mustaches, because... I haven't seen a mustache in North Korea in any photo I've ever seen. See if you can find one. Federal judge on Tuesday, by the way, rejected former Donald Trump's campaign chairman Paul Manafort's bid to dismiss a criminal indictment against him, so that's all going forward. In California, a Superior Court judge ruled lawmakers illegally passed a law which allowed for life-ending drugs during a special session devoted to other topics but gave the state attorney general five days to appeal. So for all of you who want to kill yourself in California, better do it in the next five days. District attorneys in Manhattan and Brooklyn are weighing plans to stop prosecuting the vast majority of people arrested on marijuana charges, potentially curbing the consequences of the New York City law that is enforced most heavily. And this is why I, as a white person, never worry about smoking pot in Manhattan. Uh, it's enforced heavily against black and Hispanic people. I mean, my wife has a joint every night. She's still walking the streets. Astronomers have identified the fastest growing black hole in the universe, and it has nothing to do with Donald Trump. They found the supermassive black hole 12 billion light years away. The black hole is estimated to boast a mass of, are you ready for this? I can't even begin to comprehend this in my little, little pea brain. It boasts a mass of 20 billion suns that eat the equivalent of our sun every two days. European Union Council President Donald Tusk on Wednesday derided the actions of the United States under President Donald Trump as capricious, noting someone could even think with friends that, with friends like this, who needs enemies? And on the tube, ABC Entertainment President Channing Dungy uh, put the kibosh on Roseanne's remaining political in the second season of the hit series, apparently ditching a strategy the network touted only two months ago. So next year, don't look for any pro-Trump stuff on Roseanne. Gee, we can all watch now. Not a badly written show, by the way, so I don't exactly hate it. Also in TV, Bill O'Reilly <clears throat> may be back soon working on cable for Newsmax TV, I don't know if you know about Newsmax, it's really a very right-wing organization. As you remember, he's forced out of Fox after a disclosure of sexual harassment allegations. Newsmax is also chasing other Fox News talent, Greta Van Susteren and former White House press secretary, Sean Spicer, who wants to do a panel-type talk show. Dead Tom Wolf, an innovative journalist and novelist whose technicolor, wildly punctuated prose brought to life the worlds of California surfers, car uh, uh, customizers, uh, uh, astronauts, Manhattan's moneyed status seekers uh, in the works like Candy Colored Tangerine Flakes, Streamline Baby, The Right Stuff, Bonfire the Vanities. He died Monday in a Manhattan hospital. Time now for our picture of the day. We were talking about space earlier. Let's talk about space just a little bit more. Ladies and gentlemen, Juno, which is the mission that went to Jupiter, I think was launched in 2011, sent back this picture. This is Jupiter like you've never seen it before. Talk about a colorful planet. That is just absolutely gorgeous. Wow. And we thought we were beautiful. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, and by the way, that planet's an uninhabitable. It's too big. We would be crushed like a grape if we even stood on it. Uh, now let's take a look at what we did last night on the uh, on the on the on the ramble. Uh, our guest was Will Durst, and we were talking to Will about the upcoming nuptials uh, going on in uh, London 
or in Britain, actually, Kensington Palace, uh, north of London. And anyway, I don't even know where it is. Anyway, the point was well, we were discussing uh, former heads of state in that country, former kings, and we were talking about the Duke of Windsor and the fact that he had abdicated. And, uh, well, this is where the discussion went. He, that's the one that took over. He didn't want to take over because he had the speech impediment. But, uh, no, the one that, uh, that abdicated, Duke of Windsor. Um, uh, oh, I think he was actually king. No, he was king, yeah, technically, but he had not been, the coronation had not taken oh, place. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, so, I, yeah, I think it's about a year later they do the coronation. It's, it takes a lot of preparation. Yeah. Got to get the coach out of storage, you know, and crap like that. <laughs> yeah, you got to turn the mice into footmen, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And that was what happened last night on The Ramble. The Ramble's here every night at 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time on GabNet.net and everywhere else. It's on YouTube live at the following address, YouTube.com forward slash Bolo Bennett forward slash live. Uh, put, make that a tab on your browser so it's there all the time and you're ready and waiting for our program that goes on at 10 o'clock every night. You can also see the shows after the fact on um, Facebook, you can see it on Vimeo, you can see it on YouTube, you can see it on live stream, uh, and uh, uh, oh yeah, I forgot, it's also on, uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, 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 Apple uh, whatever. Ah, <laughs> oh, hell with it, I'm out of here folks, have a nice day.